Hey everyone, South by Queen, and welcome back to Dragon Quest 9. Last time, uh, we did some of the Gortress, and there's now an outbreak of stuff going on. But anyway, uh, let's zoom there and see if I can get through the barriers. I'm not sure if the rest of my party will be able to, because obviously they're not celestial. Oh, they can indeed. This is going to be good. Right, okay. Rematch with the uh, evil people that I was fighting before. And they should be really easy for me to defeat with my team. And even, I think I could sell them with my armor. So, yeah. I'm not sure how you're meant to do that bit, but I don't think you have to die like I did. That seems a bit strange, but whatever. This time, I'll defeat you. I say, how in the place did you find your way here? This is most irregular. Well, have you managed it? I've no choice but to make an example of you. So the girls, I'm afraid, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now I'll fight you, and you're gonna pay for it. Uh, I'm not even gonna use metal slashes on you. No respect. Because you killed me last time. 72. That's a bit better. Last time I attacked it, I did one point of damage. It was unfortunate. You're doing a good job of blocking though, which is a bit sad, but it's okay. I do not fear you anymore. Oh, really? How much health do you have? Good heavens. Whatever, you're done. And you don't even get that much experience either, so that's lame. Suit of magic armor. Cool. Huh? Okay, right. Yes. Let's stop that generator. Mwahaha. Right, okay, well now that you're down, let's let's just keep on going. Uh ah, here's the flag. Can I like kill it? No. Oh well. Let's go back down and we've done our part now, so hopefully people should be able to escape or whatever. Nice one, Shekla, and you could count you to get the job done. Right, the rest of the prisoners are keeping the guards busy, so that side of things is covered. But there's others who'll need a bit more help in before they can get free. Who? The maximum security lot, and then solitary and confinement stairs downstairs, of course. That will be the Celestrians. I can't handle it on me, Todd, so you're gonna have to help back me up, alright? I'll go on ahead. See you down there. So, yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of Celestrians down there that need our help, so. let's go. Uh, meanwhile, you're just standing around. Thanks a million billion, if it wasn't for you, the shield field would still be there, we wouldn't be able to escape. Okay, well, I hope you have a wonderful life. Uh, that's a portal, I don't want to step in there just yet. Oh, that's a red chest, can I, can I get it? Oh, man. Uh... Damn it, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight him first. I don't want to do that just yet, but... Oh, Stealing is in there, though. Oh, there are some books there as well. I can't see anyone. Let's see. Um, that's... Oh, these are all... Oh, are there... Are there Celestians, like, trapped inside the things? Um... Okay, how am I doing health-wise? I'm doing fine. Snappy's taken a teensy bit of damage that I'm not too worried about. A lava lump and a Nevaki bell. Fair enough. Um, I'll open the bookcases first and then we'll see. Oh, can I sleep in those beds actually? Walk like a tank, heavy armor and its uses. They may not sound like much, but flintstones are fairly useful and can be found on the Kala Coast. Okay, an ogre shield, a big boss shield and a metal helm, a mitral helm, spiked armor and steady gauntlets. Everyone is safe with shoes and safe with shoes. Uh, I can't sleep in these beds, unfortunately. What about this rape here? Mercy? None. Um, okay, well, I'm running out of options actually, so... Oh, there's a cook. Menon, please, you must help me. I'm merely a chef broyer to provide the soldiers with cuisine. I'm not one of them, I'm a mortal man. Okay, guy, French chef person, I'll try my best to save you. Um, oh, this portal, though, looks tempting. 
Nice! That's extra nice. I like that. Okay, well... I'm prepared. I'm guessing I can't take the contents of this chest either. Uh, okay, Sterling, what do you want me to do? There you are, Treacle. I knew you'd come. I'd seen you around the moment I met you. Now, for goodness sake, our maximum security lock downstairs free. We'll have to kick that Goremet Ogs fella, Ed, and the, the blur. God, I've read too many texts today. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get cracking with the smacking. Alright, let's do it. Ah, another lost piglet. Well, you can bring all the piglets you like. I'll make a mincemeat of all of you. Before I do, tell me, how did you swine through the shield field? <laughs> I love how it's just shining away. Hmm, is that... My, my, wherever did you get... Lay your grubby little trots on that? How did awful like you come to be in the possession of the gift of seal given to me by King Godwin himself? Hmm, well, there'll be plenty of time to find that out once I've crushed your ham fisted attempt at an uprising. Shukla, I'll take on the goons. You concentrate on smashing that fat pig's face in. Okay, we will do. Now, let me teach you a thing or two about the true power of the pull sign. Oh, you're just a massive pig? That would make sense to me. Gorum Hog. Well, yeah, he is a hog. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Falcon Slash these. Attack. I feel a lot more comfortable with my party members around, it has to be said. <sighs> right. Yeah, you're not taking as much damage, but oh, ah, god, that's a lot of damage. Good heavens. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start healing soon and fast. I could probably take another turn, but that ball and chain thing is not cool. In fact, I'm gonna cast a preemptive mid heal on Darren, because even if any of the others die, ah. Uh, well, that's sad. That's very sad. Uh, um, yeah, that's a very early death. I don't know if I can cast a zing made battle. Let's see, spells. I can try. I can try and resurrect Snappy. I don't know how well it'll go though. <gasps> oh my goodness, Snappy. Oh, rip. Oh, apparently Darren managed to avoid that. So let's see. I'm just gonna have to keep on doing these hits and let's see, a more heal on Shukla. And I'm gonna have to hope he doesn't crit. Oh, what the hell? Oh, well, it's nice. More. Why did you more heal yourself, Darren? Why? Why did you do that? Falcon Sash. I guess, Choir of Angels. I should have just more healed, honestly. Oh, you're gonna raise your attention to you. Good lord. Right, I'm gonna have to... Falcon Slash and... more heal Giga. Now I can try and focus on getting... I think getting Shuckle back to life would be more helpful. Um, actually, Darren might die. See, that, that this is the problem. He does way too much damage. Uh, spells. Meteor Darren. Oh, God. This is honestly the worst. Right, uh, Falcon Slash. I'm gonna have to wait for a turn, which he doesn't threaten to knock out Giga. Yikes! Uh, well, let's see. The least I can do is try and resu resurrect someone, and Giga is my only saving grace at one point. At this point. See, he casts his ball and chain thing once more, and we're screwed. So, hang on a second. More heal. This is painful. The good thing about Darren is he doesn't seem to be dying. Uh, unfortunately, that's not much good when the rest of my damage healers are dead. Giga, I'm trying again. 
What's with these crits? Jesus Christ. Am I really underleveled? Okay, thanks. You know what? Is everyone... Okay, everyone's alive and well. I'm just gonna give it another shot and see what happens. I could just be incredibly underleveled. Um, but yeah, it, the least I can do is just try and not get critted, but good lord. Right, let's just try again. And if not, I'm gonna have to go and grind. Ugh. I'm certain I'm underleveled, because I think for the final boss you're meant to be like level 50 or something, and we're actually getting near and near to that, and I'm level 32, so... Um, <clears throat> let's see... Oh god, that ball and chain thing is just incredible. I'm gonna have to keep my priorities straight though. If Snappy dies, it's actually not that big of a deal. But Giga and Shuckler doing that Falcon Slash damage is impeccable to staying alive, so let's see. Attack, Falcon Slash. I'm gonna have to start doing immediate heals, so I'm gonna heal on Darren. Six. Okay, so far so good. Oh god, that tension is not good though. Because he can one-shot my team right now, which is really quite bad. Um, attack, Falcon Slash. Uh, I'll cast another buff, but I'm sure preemptive heal might be a better idea. Crit, that's good, that's good, that's very good. Okay, now I know that he has ice for Snappy. I can focus on keeping him here alive. Oh, thank god. Giga Monster to avoid that. Okay, I'll buff and I'll cast a Mitty on Snappy as well. I'd love nothing more than a choir of angels though, god damn. Attack, uh, Falcon Slash. Thing is, one of those ball chain things will take out Giga, but he has. Oh god, Snappy, keep that up, keep that up. Oh god, this is really dangerous. Because actually, if Darren dies, then my team has absolutely no hope whatsoever. Okay, that's critical claim, that's good, and Giga's in no risk of dying at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, attack. Critical claim. The least I can do is hope that Darren doesn't die before the more heal. Please, please, please heal. Okay, you're gonna raise your tension, which means that I have time to do that, and then I can cast a more heal on. Shekla, and you're still not dead, holy crap. Okay, that's three crits in a row. Well, not in a row, but three crits, and I still haven't managed to take him out, goddamn. Uh, more heal, Shekla. Please don't- oh my god, he's dead. He's dead! Good heavens, that was horrifying. Level 33, that's good. Do I have Giga Slash now? I have Giga Slash, oh my goodness, my saving grace. Oh, I feel a lot better now. Oh, cool. My grade 9 sword proficiency certificate. And Giga's level increases too. Awesome. A tough guy tattoo. Surely not. A lieutenant of the glorious Gitch Empire cannot be beaten by mere piglets. It is a dream, a nightmare even. No, it's... I remember now, I made a pig's ear of a battle and I was defeated like this once before. Yes, that's it, it was Grainol. He made a crackling of me with his breath and, well, I suppose I must have died. Am I dead? Pig's will. I can't be. Can it? Can I? And if I am, what if our glorious empire? Well, thank heavens for that. Hmm, seems like we're no ordinary monster, eh? What exactly is going on with this Gittage Empire? Gah, anyway, we can worry about that later. Now, let's see if it's in here. Oh, what are you looking for? Here we go, I knew it was in here. Ah, oh, me old dear whistle. Now I've got you back, I can call the old girl again. A whistle? What? Did I miss something? 
The ultimate key. Does that mean I can unlock all doors now? Nice one, treacle that key should unlock the solitary confinement styles downstairs. Oh, right. Right, let's get down there and let the poor beggars out. Speaking of keys, there's the purple door key that I missed in Gleba, which I will go and get. I know it's been like seven episodes since someone said that, but I've just remembered it now. And I'll get it once I'm done with the Gortress, I promise. Now, what did he say? Solitary confinement cells? Surprisingly and miraculously, none of us are dead, so... Uh, I'll step in the slight. <sighs> right, that's a relief. Now, solitary confinement cells downstairs. Right, got it. Um... We saw them just before, and... Right. So, they really were keeping them down here. Look, Shoko, it's on that maximum security prisoners I was telling you about. What you see trapped in that cocoon thingy is no less than a bona fide blooming Celestrian. Anyway, we've got to get them all out. Open up the cells and set the poor blighters free. God damn, poor Celestrians. Is it truly you, Shukla? Or this is an apparition I see before me? I wonder who it is. God damn. Shukla, is it truly you? But if you've come to our aid, then who? It matters not. You have my thanks. Oh god. Who's in here? Oh please, I beg of thee, why must I suffer so? The minions of the Empire drained the power from the Celestrians held captive in these cocoons. And not just here, it seems the Celestrians are still imprisoned within the confines of Gittin Palace. Well, that's a whole other kind of worms. I can stand it no longer, I beseech you, please no more. The Imperial Soldiers are able to see a Celestrian that ordinary mortals cannot. The instance we fell from the sky, they were able to set upon us and take us captive. Wait, when did he fall from the sky? Now I'm confused. My power is spent, I'm too frail even to move. They hold sway over Barbarus by providing him power drained from captive Celestrians. Can God win from the house of Git? Truly you are without conscience or compassion. Well? Blimey, they can't even bleed and walk. That thing we turned off must have been sucking the strength out of them or something. Anyway, we better get them out of your face and figure out what to do. Shukran's stealing a escort the freed Celestrians out of the depths of the Gortress. Here, it's done and shook with her back, but we was worried and sick about you two. Where the heck have you been? We gave him prison guards a proper iron while you were gone, Gov. Then what are you still doing here? How come you haven't scarpered yet, you bunch of numpties? Well, we didn't want to leave our governor behind, did we? You mean you couldn't think what to do without me more? Like, can't you see no time to be waiting around for the likes of us? Honestly, Shekla, what are they like, eh? Bunch of blooming numbskulls. Ha, enjoy a little victory while you can, disobedient rotters. What's that I hear? Is that the sound of wings? Ha, you should run while you've had the chance. Uh-oh. That looks like Barbarous. Now we'll see what happens to those who defy the glorious Kitchen Empire. Oh, okay. Oh, crikey, we're all going to be bit to a blooming crisp. Gods are one thing, but we just can't stand up to like that horrible monster. Oh no, why do we have to get up there so quick? We're done for. Put yourselves together, you bunch of wimps. Are we really going to give up after we've come this far? Don't be daft. It's all well and good saying that, Gov. What are we supposed to do? It's like we can fly, is it? Don't you worry yourselves about that. I'll sort something out. All you got to do is run. Go on, peg it. Oh, come on, Gov. Running isn't going to do no good. Admit it, we're finished. Now nah, I reckon we must have something up our sleeves, the willy old devil. Come on, what we've got to lose, eh? 
He's right, we can't give up now, we might as well see what Stalin can pull out of the bag. Yeah, let's do it. Peg it! Right, let's see what we can do, shall we? I don't know why you bring me into this, I don't think I can do much, but alright. Oh, the whistle. I wonder what that was for. Really? The star flight? Oh, goodness me, it's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> what troll. Save us. Look at that, the dragon is flying off. Does that mean we're saved? No way, Stone must have pulled it off. We better get while the going's good then, boys, come on. Well, you did it. Somehow. There you are, Shuckle. Where the flap have you been? I'm more to the point. What did you think you were doing? Get yourself carted off like that? I've been flapping around like a blue-faced fly, sorting stuff like express out on my own since you disappeared. Don't you ever think of anyone but yourself? I've been behind myself with worry. You'll be the death of me, you will. I suppose you think it's funny calling me out all the way to the back end of beyond like this, do you? Hang on, how do you even manage to get the starfight to come down your beck and call anyway? Sorry if we caught you a bad time, Treacle. What? Oi, he said he'd come abroad. Get lost! Hang on, you're... No, it can't be. Oh my days, it... Oh, that's who Fat Guts was. Oh my god. Oh, Fat Guts, hello you. Who are you calling Fat Guts, you cheeky man? How many times have I told you? It's Captain. Captain. Well, long time no see anyway, Treacle. Looks like you can get by all right without me. So how do you know I'll shock you anyway? What? You know this wingless one to two, do you? Well, it's a long story, but yeah. Eh? Alright, you ain't got a clue what I'm doing here, have you? Alright, it's like this. That prison foreman thing was just while we was bound up. My real identity is, well... I'm the mighty Sterling, Captain Chief Engineer of the Star Flight Express, Supreme Celestial Chariot of the Skies. Oh, goodness gracious. Still fat on the guts and head, eh? And still making a flopping idiot yourself at every opportunity, I see. No, I was just, just, uh, right. First things first, we should head for the observatory. <laughs> the Celestrians are set free, are in the carriage behind. Let's lift them up while, where they belong. Shuckle having escaped the mighty gorge of the observatory with the freed Celestrians. Ah, the blessed observatory. At long last we are returned. Shuckle, we are in your debt. Had you not come to our aid, who knows what might have befallen us? But now we are returned to our home in the skies. It is only a matter of time before we are restored to our former strength. You need not worry about us. You need worry about us no longer. Make haste to Appa's Major and apprise him of the events that occurred in the world below. You must tell him all. The revival of the Gittish Empire, the happenings of the Gortress, the resurrection of Barbarus, and... the Fakila's betrayal. Wow, has it really been that long since we've come here? He doesn't know about Aquila. Well, oh well. Next time, I'll be heading up to Appa's Major and telling him about everything that's happened. So, that is an episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day.